Today we have four stories to tell you guys about, one dealing with a Nintendo Direct. That's right, we finally have our first information coming out for a Nintendo Direct. We also have some additional details for something that's likely to be announced in the Nintendo Direct and is being teased directly, well, indirectly, I suppose, by Nintendo. We have an update to Nintendo Switch Online to share with you as well, and an update to a game coming to Nintendo Switch that's already been announced, but we, now we get to see more of it, and it's a game I know many of you are excited about. So before we dive into that news, I just wanna say, hey, welcome to Nintendo Prime, everyone. If you really enjoy the news, why don't you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring-a-ling that ding-a-ling so you can be notified of all future uploads. As a reminder, we are starting a new schedule for videos just like this, going up at 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right, without further ado, let's get into our first story, which deals with NSO. Late last night, well, the same time they seemingly always do it, Nintendo announced a new game coming to Nintendo Switch Online, and that game is ExciteBite 64. That's right, ExciteBite is back. And you know what? I'm really excited to see this back in the fray of releases for Nintendo Switch Online. They announced a bunch of N64 games, I don't know, about a year ago at this point, and not all of them have come out. This is one of the ones that hasn't yet, and I think we still have, gosh, Mario Party 3 and, man, what was that other one, 1080 Snowboarding. So we still have a couple that haven't come out that maybe they'll come out before the end of the year. I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that front. But yeah, Excite Byte 64 is coming. It's arriving on August 30th. It's really exciting news. And shout out to a newer leaker out there that sort of teased that we were getting this announcement. What's really interesting about this leaker is they have a 100% track record, so we'll pay attention to them moving forward. Next up, we get to get into an exciting story. It's always exciting when we're talking about Nintendo Directs. We all expect there to be a Nintendo Direct next month, and we have our first sort of rumor leak sort of thing out there for this Nintendo Direct. And it does come from, you know, my favorite leaker. I say that with no hint of sarcasm. Zippo. But... In this case, I actually want to pay attention to it because what he's saying makes a lot of sense. So let's dive in to what Zippo had to say on his blog. So over there on the blog, he goes on to say, this Direct is going to have a heavy focus on Mario with new looks at Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Super Mario RPG, Princess Peach's new game, among others. I think some more GameCube remasters are very likely as well. Speaking of which, a little birdie has told me that Nintendo are showcasing demos of Super Mario Bros. Wonder this week in both America and in Germany at Gamescom. So expect to see a lot more Wonder very, very soon. I'm hearing that this Direct will air likely in the first two weeks of September, more soon. Now, yeah, the first two weeks of September make a lot of sense. That's mostly where people are projecting this to be. It could be in the third week, and it could happen right before Tokyo Game Show. They have done that in the past, but with Mario Wonder needing to be advertised, it's possible they go a bit sooner than that. Now, what's interesting about listening to this stuff is actually, besides what Zippo said, we actually have some hints that, yeah, Nintendo might have been showing off Super Mario Bros. Wonder behind closed doors. For starters, a ton of content creators have been making their way to Nintendo New York and posting about being there. Typically, that's when there's going to be some sort of game demo event for an upcoming game. And then on top of that, Gamescom is happening, except Nintendo's booth isn't really a booth. It's completely private. You can only come in and out one direction. Well, there's probably an emergency exit. But anyways, it's all enclosed and no one can see what's going on. High likelihood they were playing some media anyways, was playing Super Mario Bros. Wonder in there. Some speculate maybe Nintendo Switch 2 is being shown behind closed doors. I don't know about that, but what we do know is that we're likely going to be seeing previews coming up for Super Mario Bros. Wonder maybe as soon as next week. So that is really, really exciting. So if you think about this upcoming Direct, you pile in the Mario goodness. We have an update for you as well for a game that's likely going to be in this Direct later too. So... I'm really excited for this Nintendo Direct, and I hope you are as well. Now, we got to get into our next story, because it deals with Persona 5 Tactica, because a brand new trailer dropped today. So, what do we get from this trailer? Well, we learned some things that we maybe already know, but have further confirmation. We already knew the game was a tactile turn-based strategy game, but when you watch more and more of it, it really becomes obvious that this game is sort of mimicking the gameplay of things like Mario plus Rabbids, XCOM, a little bit of Fire Emblem mixed in there. And it does have this unique ability called the Baton Pass, 
And it, what makes this different from other games is if one of your guys goes down, you can pass the baton to a new character to come in and take their place. Now, this will vary based on different difficulty levels, with obviously the hardest difficulty having the least amount of baton passes, but the easiest having the most. But yeah, it's kind of a neat way to change up the difficulty and character death scenarios that we see in other games. Now, as a reminder, I just want to throw out there that you can go ahead and pre-order this game right now. It releases on November 17th. We actually have a pre-order link that it would be sweet if you guys use down in the description for your convenience. Now, last but not least, we got to get a little juicy looking at a certain game that's likely to be in next month's Direct. Folks, we're talking about a Nintendo teased leak. Nintendo themselves putting this out here for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's right, they have their final DLC pack coming before the end of the year. There's gonna be two more playable characters. You know, what? we got a bunch more courses to come. And we now have an idea of what one of those characters is going to be, thanks to an update to Mario Kart Tour, believe it or not, that seems to have an intentional tease. What are we talking about? Well, they recently released a brand new track called Madrid Drive, and it features an in-game poster called the Mushroom Kingdom Musical. In the details on the poster, it lists a bunch of characters like Mario, Peach, Toad, Luigi, Rosalina, Daisy, Bowser, Bowser Jr., Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, King Boo, Wario, Waluigi, and Pauline. Notably, all those prior characters are already playable. So, yeah, Pauline's sort of the outlier here. And then there's text right next to her that says, Coming soon. <laughs> Yeah, they couldn't be more subtle than that, could you, Nintendo? Now, this seems to heavily imply two big things, right? Well, the first is that Pauline is going to be one of the playable characters and take one of the last two slots available. That leaves us still guessing at who the final character is going to be. And then that Madrid Drive is also going to be brought over to Mario Kart 8 as part of the DLC, which isn't as surprising because most of the new Mario Kart Tour courses have come over, but it is still nice to just sort of have that all in there and you know mixed in and knowing that we're going to end up getting this one so i don't know guys that's really the news we have for you today and it's really exciting stuff if i'm completely honest at least it's exciting to me hopefully it was exciting to you hopefully you like our new format of our videos here for our 3 p.m slot i want to thank you guys so much for being here and you know what guys i'm gonna catch you in the next video